Britain's body guard proceeding to gate number five of Parliament House. In fact, the six sick will turn out guard at the southern side of the Jaipur column for departure. Commanding officer, Colonel S.K. Mohanty. Personnel from the three services, and we showed you shots of this earlier, have lined up the path with arms on the route and will present arms as the dignitaries pass by. Rashtrapati Bhavan ki bhavyata, Tangan dono or neher or favare, और काफिला धीरे धीरे मुख्य द्वार की ओर बढ़ता हुआ विशाल लोहे का मुख्य द्वार जो विशेष अवसरों पर खोला जाता है और आज ऐसा ही विशेष अवसर है जब भारत की पंद्रहवी राष्ट्रपति अब से कुछ ही देर में शपथ ग्रहण करेंगी निवर्तमान राष्ट्रपति श्री रामनाथ कोविंद का कार्यकाल पूरा हो रहा है और ये काफिला धीरे धीरे रायसीना पहाड़ी से अब विजय चौक की ओर बढ़ता हुआ वहां से बाई ओर संसद भवन है जो गंतव्य है इस काफिले का It's a very poignant moment, a reflective moment for President Ramnath Kovind. And of course, a joyous and celebratory moment for Srimati Murmu. But also knowing that she has a task ahead and to serve the country to the best of her ability. The guard and personnel from the three services lining the path with the fundamental responsibility of maintaining the integrity of the Constitution of India. The president of the largest democracy in the world is vested with specific legislative and judicial and financial powers, among many others, to ensure that the sanctity of the Constitution is upheld. And Indian democracy is the result of the great gift our founding fathers gave us the gift of a constitution that, other than being the longest written constitution in the world, holds in its embrace the firmness to provide us solid and strong roots and the liberalism to give us wings to grow, fly and change. And as we await the swearing in ceremony of India's 15th president to take place, Srimati Draupadi Murmu will soon hold with her the sacred responsibility of maintaining the integrity of this constitution as the new president of India. ये काफिला रायसीना पहाड़ी से विजय चौक की ओर बढ़ता हुआ और दोनों ओर तीनों सेनाओं के पर्सनल पूरे मार्ग में बहुत ही खास अवसर देश के राष्ट्रपति संवैधानिक प्रमुख होते हैं तीनों सेनाओं के सर्वोच्च कमांडर होते हैं और देश के प्रथम नागरिक होते हैं बहुत ही खास अवसर जब एक राष्ट्रपति का कार्यकाल पूरा हो रहा है और नई राष्ट्रपति इस पद की जिम्मेदारी अब से कुछ देर में ग्रहण करेंगे There invariably is, as a form of mainstream dialogue, a recurring reference to the values a democratic nation rests on. And moving these values from paper to people is the true test of democratic governance. Srimati Murmu, as uh, she will shortly take oath today, will be wanting to ensure that she centers her tenure around these values and principles. The values and principles that she has always held dear in sync with the form of governance she sits atop as its constitutional head. Principles of action that sustain society and democracy to be stable 
and successful at both the political and social levels. And it is because the scope of these often are justified and vehemently defended values is so far-reaching that they are debated and discussed at the public level. The President's limousine on its way to gate number five. जन कल्याण की यात्रा सतत निरंतर चलती रहती है भारतीय लोकतंत्र के लिए एक बेहद शानदार दिन जहां सर्वोच्च संवैधानिक पदों पर किस तरीके से हस्तांतरण होता है ये इसके हम सब गवाह बन रहे हैं साक्षी बन रहे हैं और ये हमारे लोकतंत्र की हमारी लोकतांत्रिक विरासत की ये खूबसूरत तस्वीर संसद भवन के निकट पहुंचता हुआ ये काफिला कुछ ही देर में Sansad Bhavan ke gate number 5 Another 2 to 3 ga. minutes when the limousine of the president and the president elect arrives at gate number 1 of the parliament of India where they will be greeted and welcomed by the vice president prime minister Narendra Modi the Lok Sabha speaker all of them will be present to welcome them and then the ceremony begins at 10:15 in the central hall of parliament chief justice of India justice Ramana will be giving oath to Draupadi Murmu as the 15th President of India. Shahzad Punawala of the BJP joins me at this hour on the special broadcast. We also have Rashid Kidwai. I'm going to come to you, Rashid. I think perhaps today is not the day uh, for all those who are saying that the cross voting or, or they are highlighting that she perhaps got less vote than the Dalit, than, than Ramnath Kovind, her predecessor. Today is a day to talk about just one aspect, that this is about hope, the victory of aspirational India. Maria, it's a great day, it's a red letter day that not only we have elected a, a, a you know, a tribal, uh, you know, a, a woman, uh, someone who, who whose life has been extremely inspirational. Just one quick word about what you were saying. You see, that's that's very much part and parcel of our, our democratic process that we have elections and when the elections are settled, then the elected person is accepted by all. And the office of president is as such that, you know, the president of India represents everyone and everyone looks up to the office of president. So that whatever has happened in the past is, is over. In democracy, there has to be a contest. Out of those, uh, you know, 16 presidential elections, uh, 15 we witnessed uh, a kind of contest. Only one exception was there when there was a, a kind of consensus in case of Nilam Singh you already. So uh, I think we must uh, not keep looking back at the differences and all. And yes. I think the president would also engage everyone. She's head of parliament. Uh, she's a conscience keeper. She's a custodian of Indian constitution. So and what a whether... beautiful, beautiful top shot that is of the Parliament of India, which has witnessed uh, several moments of India's freedom movement and uh, several bills that were passed that define India's republic. That is the cavalcade that is now arriving uh, inside Parliament. Those visuals are of inside Parliament as uh, the, the, the president and uh, the president-elect in their limousine arrive inside Parliament. Uh, for the ceremony and the oath to begin. And today is an interesting day, Shahzad, when we are looking at that editorial that has been penned by Home Minister Amit Shah, where he talks about, yes, this is about people's precedent, but this is about the 9% uh, tribal population who are empowered like never before. 